right, guys, it's 7.15 a.m. on September 15th, 2017. That is Eastern Standard Time, by the way. Um, all right, guys, here we go. We've had more changes overnight. Uh, we all expected this. We knew this was coming. Uh, we talked about these two storms down here. This is now Disturbance 1. It has risen to 80% chance of cyclone formation in five days. And what that means is that also the 48-hour estimate has risen to 40%. Yesterday it was uh, 20, I believe. So basically, guys, uh, this thing formed a little bit close to the Cape Verde Islands, and then it broke up a little bit, but it is basically an 80% chance that this will reform. Now, here's the only question that I'm trying to figure out. We have a um, an official tropical depression here, which is TD-14. They haven't given it one of the uh, the alphabet names yet. Uh, the next one on the list is Lee, and then we have uh, Maria, I believe it is. In fact, I have this right here that I'll show you guys. You can get a look at the names that we have coming up. So we've been through, obviously, Harvey, Irma, Jose, Katia. So now we have Lee, we have uh, Maria, we have Nate, Ophelia, Felipe, Felipe uh, Rena, Sean, Tammy, Vince, and Whitney. If we make it that far, at this rate, guys, we're going to need, oh my god, X, Y, and Z, to, to be honest with you. But anyway, we'll stay focused here. So like I said, Lee is going to be the next name storm. So basically, after Tropical Depression, we get Tropical Storm, and then they name it. So basically, we just need to see which one of these forms first. Uh, if it's going to be the one closer to... Let me bring our stuff back up here. Um, it's looking like this one might form first. This may turn into a tropical storm, but it's expected to actually get brought up into this area and die off relatively quickly. So this may just be a name that we see. This could be Lee, and then Lee disappears, and then we're on to Mar uh, Maria. Uh, so that's why in the thumbnail I have Lee or Maria. I'm not really sure which one of these is going to come first. It's most likely going to be here. But like I said, Lee is expected to come around up here and get sucked up to the jet stream and be gone. We don't know yet. That can change. But guys, I need to show you something that's pretty dramatic on um, one of these satellites. Uh, Ventu Sky is very similar to Ventu Sky is one day off from this other uh, radar that I'm going to show you on Tropical Tidbits. But again, really quick, we have Jose, Tropical Storm, right now 70 miles an hour, 989 as the pressure, and we're moving west, northwest at 8 miles an hour. Guys, this storm will get bigger. This will be a Cat 1, possibly a Cat 2 by the time it makes its final approach in this area, whether it's off the east coast or whether it's into the area of New York, which is where models are literally pointing right now. Not only pointing, but on Tropical Tidbits, we have a situation... If I can find it. Okay, here we go. I need to show this to you guys. Now, there's a reason I made the thumbnail the way I did, and this is why. I'm going to run through this and just check out what happens. All right, right now we are at September 15th. Here is Jose. Jose is making its northern approach towards the east coast. Here is Marie, uh, Marie or Lee. There is Jose making contact with New York, Long Island, and Massachusetts. It turns around in a circle. I'm going to go back here, guys. Check that out. So we have Jose now projected. All these models are starting to agree that something's going down with the East Coast. And because it's getting north of uh, the stick-out area of uh, North Carolina and Virginia, it's basically got one little pocket to go into unless it turns out quick enough. But according to this, guys, we're going to have landfall. Basically, New Jersey, New York, and Long Island all at the same time, according to this chart today. All right, so now watch this. After Jose, remember yesterday we had Jose projected to come out here and then start going south again. Oops. Start going south back down into the ocean uh, based on the different pressures, weak pressure over here, high pressure here, and the uh, uh, that third storm that might be Lee first coming up here and relieving some of this area. That would allow Jose to come down here. But now look what they have Jose doing. This is crazy. So we have Jose making landfall, New Jersey, New York. And then look at this. Jose goes out. It does a shorter wraparound. Still a low pressure back to 1,011... Uh, millibars and then boom it, it basically it loses its form before it hits again but it hits comes out does a loop and hits again now guess what that's gonna do that's actually gonna draw in pressure 
as this storm, which is probably going to be Marie, coming up in this area. Watch what this storm does, guys. This is unreal. Check that out. And we have another New York landfall. Basically, the first landfall would be Long Island. Uh, it looks maybe even Gray's Jersey right there. Check that out. So that's going to be Lee or Marie. Uh, chances are it'll be Marie because Lee, like I said, is the next one on the list. And once that storm forms, it's expected to hook out into this area based on what's going on with this pressure. This is a very, very high pressure here. It's very dense. It's not surrounding the entire area like it does usually. And that's why the storm was allowed to group or head up in this area. Uh, this is very interesting stuff. All right, we're going to go back and check it out again. All right, so this goes back as far as, I want to say the 12th. Yeah, the 12th. So we still have a view of Irma here. Check this out. So we can see how Irma cuts up through this front that we've been talking about for, for days now. And then watch how Jose reacts. So we have Irma breaking through into the land. We have Jose doing its first loop, sitting for a day, making its western approach. And then it starts cutting... Uh, north towards the east coast and now this is when it's gonna get stronger guys I'm telling you uh, this could happen within a day uh, two days at most I'm saying that I really believe Jose will be a category one again um, if it goes past that I'd be surprised but cat 2 is not out of the realm of possibility guys because we're in warm water here uh, the jet stream we're, get, we're having a warm front here so there's warmer air all sorts of conditions for hurricanes to thrive especially Jose guys we saw what Jose went through with those sheer winds this thing is a powerful storm it's held together very well so you know this is just this is what they're saying now so let's look check this out this may change by the time I get home from work today guys so you know how this works that's why we're on this all day but this is something to look out for this could be a double hit on New York in a six day period the first one on the 20th which is Jose there and technically we could be looking at Jose on the 20th and then Jose again on the 23rd if it loops around that way and then three days later we have this monster look how big this thing gets we're at 925 in the pressure it starts raising right around uh, parallel to <clears throat> South Carolina. The pressure starts uh, raising, which means it gets weaker. So this storm's going to strengthen all the way to here. We're talking, guys, this could be a Cat 4 storm. We just don't know yet. All I know is that these charts are saying there's going to be two hurricanes hitting New York, the New Jersey area, Long Island, within a six-day period. And I know this is days away, but... Guys, this is the data. We need to watch this stuff every day. We have uh, little uh, areas of error that we rule out every day. We get closer and closer to an idea. And look at these models now, guys. They are, every single one of them, including the farthest one to the west in the Atlantic, has shifted to the east. So it's basically all in agreement that this is going to do something to the east coast. And chances are it's going to be above the area of uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, rather, is where the the uh, the new uh, cone is. I would guess you would say it's a little smaller than it was. Um, all like I said, these things are starting to group together, guys, and a lot of them are having it skim right across here. And then look, some of these models even show that loop we were talking about. Jose has already done a loop down here. It sat around for a day. It got ripped apart by shear winds. Stayed, uh, held its shape, respun. And now it's coming up the East Coast. It was supposed to be just a tropical storm that we were not supposed to worry about, according to the media. And now all of a sudden, this is a big concern. They're asking people to go buy supplies and water and get prepared for a New York hurricane. Now, they are not. They didn't say the words New York. I shouldn't have said that. But they're saying get ready for an East Coast hurricane. Every, every hour, their tone is changing. They're getting more and more serious. As Irma fades out of the news... Now they can put all their focus on Jose, and that's what they're doing. And they finally realize that this storm's no joke. It's going to strengthen to a Cat 1 or Cat 2. Guys, Sandy was a Cat 1 when it turned into New Jersey. All right, that was a big deal. That's all that anyone talked about for weeks and months. And this will be no different if it happens. So once again, guys, we have Jose uh, making a landfall around New York, Long Island, New Jersey, um, that type of area and then coming back out and doing a small loop as it weakens back in to the coast and all while that's happening we have uh, more than likely Hurricane Marie 
um, making its way up the East Coast. Am I saying that right? Marie or Maria? Let me look at this again. I'm sorry, guys. It's the morning. You know how it goes. Maria. Okay, so we're at Maria. I'm sorry. Not Marie. Maria. So we have Lee and Maria. All right, so Maria. Got to remember that. All right, once again, spaghetti models for Jose. These are spaghetti models for what I think will be Lee. This is that first storm that's already formed. It's a tropical depression, so the next step is a tropical storm. That's when it will get the name. This one's taking a little bit longer. The one that was down, let me show you, sorry. Here we go. Uh, here it will be Lee, more than likely, and this will be Maria right here. So Maria's going to form within the next five days, 80% chance within this area. And then when it forms, uh, yesterday it was showed going right through Santa Domingo. Uh, the path is changed a little bit towards the west, a little bit, but it still touches Santa, uh, Santa Domingo. And then, guys, it comes up here, and that's why Jose is doing its loop out in this area. This is all based on the pressures we talk about. I don't have the jet stream pulled up for you yet, only because I'm in a little bit of a rush this morning. Unfortunately, I have some things to do, but I will be back for the afternoon where I can bring the jet stream out, and we're going to have all new data in the jet stream, and we're going to be able to see about six, seven, eight days into the future of what our jet stream is going to look like, and that's really going to give us an edge over... Um, a lot of a lot of things knowing what what that's going to do because that's going to decide whether these storms go into the coast or how uh, Maria is going to ride up the east coast if it does if we get a wall of pressure guys in the next five six days that blocks this area here we're talking Maria could go right into the Gulf we just don't know yet and I'm just showing you what the what the tropical tidbits model shows you which I think is pretty reliable it's 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 an interesting model it gives you an option from the GFS to the European model to the Canadian model uh, we'll take a look one more time guys this is you're seeing it as I'm seeing it this is what the deal is here's Irma we're back on the 12th here's Jose doing its thing no one even cared about it they were standing in front of it all talking about Irma and now here we are Irma breaks up Irma becomes becomes a front helps Jose move back to the west and then eventually up the east coast. Now we're strengthening, strengthening some more, possibly strengthening some more, and maybe now we're leveling out. It's got a good path. We might be looking at a landfall in New York. As this is happening, we have a formation down here. It's going through the Leeward Islands, which got ripped. Uh, the northern Leeward Islands got hit really hard. Then we're passing just over the east coast of Santo Domingo. That's good for some of the people in the comments that said they had family there. Maybe we're not looking at such a direct hit as we were. Again, this stuff changes, guys. This may change too. But all models are now pointing to the east coast. And then we have this second hurricane within six days that is projected to basically beeline from the south Leeward Islands all the way up into the other catcher's mitt where we got Virginia, Delaware... Uh, New Jersey, New York, uh, Long Island, this whole area. So look at the size of this. This is all our wind. This could affect all those states. And if we're talking a direct hit, guys, that's not just going to... Well, all right, that's one skimming. But um, if we get more of a direct hit, this thing could go inland. We're talking as far as upstate New York, uh, central Pennsylvania, even the the east side of West Virginia, guys. So this is going to get interesting. Um, I suggest all of you at least think in your minds about what you would do in these situations. It's not bad to do that. I'm not telling you to go spend money. I'm not telling you to go, you know, go take money out of the bank. That's the last thing I'm ever going to do. That's all on you guys. All I'm trying to do is show you this data and show you what's coming next. And guys, this is all based on pressure, so I trust these models right now because a lot of the pressures going on make sense. And the pressures change a little bit less than than the hurricanes do themselves as far as strength and stuff. It's very it's hit or miss sometimes, but they are pretty confident Jose's going to strengthen here. And we can't forget about this storm here. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, this one's expected to come up in this area. It's going to form to a tropical storm before uh, Maria, more than likely. And then it shows it coming up here and kind of dying off. But we don't know that yet. Is If something moves out here and a pressure opens up, we could be looking at a third hurricane, guys. It's just these are the possibilities. I mean, when you see three of these on a map, uh, usually um, this is the all you're talking about. But because we've had Irma and Harvey and all that destruction, people are just tired of it. They're tired of seeing hurricanes. They just don't care anymore. They want them to just 
disappear. They don't trust any of the data. But guys, on any other situation, had we not had Javier Irma, this would be the biggest thing talked about on TV right now is the fact that we had three Atlantic storms at the same time. We're kind of getting spoiled in a way, if you can describe it that way, um, be because we've just had so many storms back to back to back. People are just tired of them, like I said. So guys, I'm trying to make this a quick update. I know I always say that, but I always try. I do ramble. My mind m moves a little faster than my mouth sometimes, so I get ahead of myself. But here we are on a time frame, current time frame. We're looking 2 a.m. Saturday, 2 p.m. Saturday, and then 2 a.m. Sunday. This is where I'm expecting to be Cat 1. Um, probably a little sooner. I want to say within 24 hours we're going to be at Cat 1, guys. We already got our spin back. So once that spin comes back, that means the path is going to stay a little more true. Um, we don't have any crazy pressure. We have uh, a warm front coming to the northeast, a cold front out in the upper west, and that's going to move along. But Jose is going to get there first. So there's really nothing to take Jose out of here until after it's already projected to make landfall. That's something to think about. we got to watch this, guys. Even the good old Weather Channel is telling people to start making plans for this. I don't, I don't want to take that route exactly. I say have a basic plan. That's important. I'm not telling you to go out and do anything crazy. I'm not. I'm just showing you the data. You base this off what you think you should do. You guys know where you live on these coasts if you're there. And you guys know how this goes, all right? And we're going to talk soon. Like I said, i got some stuff to do. I will be back in the afternoon. We'll probably have a whole new set of data. But I don't see a lot of change. Maybe a change in um, Maria um, in its angle in this way. It may come down more south. It depends on the pressure, guys. We've got to watch this piece of pressure here. It's rarely going to come down the center. Uh, the other storm, uh, which will be Lee, is probably going to come up in this direction. It may not. We don't know. All we know for sure is that Tropical Tidbits model is showing that we are going to have two landfall hurricanes within a six-day period, probably a d maybe even a double by Jose, and then another hurricane, which looks really big, guys. This one looks bigger than Jose, and the more it stays down in this area, the bigger it's going to be. So, all right, guys, that's it. Something to think about. Um, keep me posted. Uh, if you guys have any updates that I don't notice in the comments, please uh, type them out. And I'll pin them and I'll highlight them and stuff so people can see updates so we don't have to make a video every single time something little changes. But I felt this was big enough to talk about. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you have a good morning and I'll talk to you this afternoon.